Well, not quite as tall as Peter. Well, thank you very much, and what a great program we've had over the last day and a half of uh, seeing what Rotary's all about in in uh, WA, and it's. Uh, I think, well, I've been blown away by what the committee's put together, and I'll talk about that a bit later. But I just want to spend some time. A lot of the, some of these awards we normally do a changeover because changeover is going to be a bit different this year. So uh, most of them I'm going to do now, and there are a few that I'm going to have to come around and uh, see individual clubs for. Before I start, I have to thank uh, past District Governor Bill Bembo, who's coordinated the awards. A very big thank you for not only what he's done in adjudicating on these awards, but also for rationalising the awards, because we th the board thought that we had too many, and uh, we've combined a number of them, uh, taken a few out that really didn't apply anymore, and updated where we're going, and I guess it's a step towards what Ian Hutton will be doing in the in the new district of District 9455. The first one uh, is for the best Metropolitan Club Bulletin and that's the Boyd Butsworth Trophy and this year it's gone to Freshwater Bay. someone else wants to come up and muscle it. Country Club Bulletin. This year goes to the Rotary Club of Geraldton Greenwich. <laughs> I should say the uh, while he's coming up, the honourable mentions uh, for the Metropolitan Bulletin go to Scarborough and Perth and. Also, honourable mentions to Dal Keith and Karen. conference attendance, and this is done on the per capita club membership, so it's a percentage of how many Rotarians come to conference against their total membership, and of course the host club, which is winning hands down this year, I can tell you, are, are not allowed to compete in it. So this year the award goes to Geraldton. Sending up someone who can carry it. <laughs> the next award is the Clary Lewington Trophy, which goes to the club that's deemed to have achieved the most in the community. And, uh, it's always a very difficult one to do because as Rotary is one of the best kept secrets, you guys keep a lot of your projects to yourself despite me asking you to tell me about them. So if you feel as though you've been hard done by, it's because you haven't told me what you're doing. So, but this year, uh, I'm the sole adjudicator of this, so if you want to fight later, you can. Well, I've given it to the Rotary Club of Perth.
DG and Liz, I know, would love to come forward and get this. Yes, the best grocery down under article, and this is always a, not that hard to judge because not that many but few people put articles in to the rotary down under and then complain about why is it dominated by New Zealand articles. <laughs> and the reason it's don't dominated by New Zealand articles, they get off their butts and they write articles and send interesting things in and I love reading about what they're doing over there. But I think Stuart Hill will be the first to agree that we've got some great things here that we should be writing about so that New Zealanders can read about it as well. So that's the challenge. This year, the best Rotary Down Under article goes to Freshwater Bay. And for those of you who didn't read it, it was an article by Simone on over 50s fires take Facebook to number. Service Award, and it's gone walkabout. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, we'll award it anyway in absentia. But it goes to uh, this year the Matilda Bay Club for their efforts with the Aboriginal program with Aranmore College. So, somewhere in Matilda Bay, we come forward and speak. I can't give him anything, I can at least shake his hand. <laughs> now we've been challenged a number of times over the weekend about 30 minutes exercise here and there and quite a few speakers talked about it. Glad some of them at least kept putting in the bit about the benefits of red wine and dark chocolate. But it all went very well. But I, Samo, who runs the Waste Disposal Challenge, uh, has adjudicated on who, the, the latest on the leaderboard, and I must say our district is doing very well overall. And uh, not only uh, do we have the top club out of the first three districts, but we're equal in attendance, uh, in participation with it. So she sent me a couple of certificates as an encouragement for the rest of the clubs to, to get behind it. And the 9450 district top club for March 2010, so it's the total weight loss since they joined the program up till the end of March, is the Rotary Club of Dalkeith. They've got 51 members in their club participating and between them they've lost 108 kilograms so far with nearly 83% of their members experiencing a BMI decrease. I reckon that's great news. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately the, the champion's not here, he's out running the state rowing championships or something. We do have a runner-up, and the District 9450 runner-up for March 2010 with 73% of their members losing weight and a decrease of 2.1% in their BMI is the Rotary Club of Geraldton North. So Dalkeith at the moment heads the list out of all three districts and Geraldton North is running third. Someone from another district's interloped in between somewhere. <laughs> 